Get in your cell. Hurry up. I have no time for slow pokes. Look at this place. Everything's a mess. What kind of monster last used the toilet? And unsafe electrical wirings? Oh no, my daughter and I can't stay here. Ah! Cockroaches! I've got you. Please let us go. We can't stay here. Talk to the hand. It's a no. Oh my, how can they survive jail? Oh my, it looks like somebody had a slime bath. Is Molly suffering from a cold? Huh? Let me get that slime for you. Ew. Don't worry, I brought cough syrup. I don't like it. I want that instead. There. The what? Snack time. I can't wait to try these candy sprays. Ugh, so sour but so good. Huh? It's empty. Goodbye then. A candy spray? Sounds like treasure to me. <laughs> Jackpot. It's empty? Wait, I have a better idea. You want candy spray, right? Yes! Then close your eyes first. Okay. I'm gonna switch <laughs> the candy with the cough syrup. Here it goes. Yum! That was tasty. And I'm sure you'll feel better in no time. Come closer. Sleeves up. Ouch! It hurts! Next. Ah! Next. Ow! Who's next? Is it you, little girl? Come over here. I'm scared. Oh no. His syringe looks like a monster needle. Ready? No! It'll just feel like the bite of an ant. What's wrong? I hate needles. This is bad. How could I convince her to get a vaccine shot? Huh? Butterfly hairpins? I got it! Put it on the needle so it won't be as scary. Wow, a butterfly is on me! It worked! Vaccination complete! That wasn't so bad, <laughs> right? It's your turn, policeman! Me? Oh, uh, no! See? You're braver than a cop! I need to wash my face. Holy pepperoni! <laughs> huh? Mommy! What's wrong? Molly! Let me see. Pimples? Okay, listen. I'm gonna pop them one by one. Hold your breath. Take cover! What in the mustard mess is this? You! What are you doing? Oops, I'm sorry. Oh, I know what will save you. A pumping gadget. Just press it over the pimple and start pumping the pus out. Ugh, I won't be eating cheese for a while. My forehead is so smooth. Smart, right? Smartest mom in the world. You're never gonna guess where Molly hides her food stash. The toilet. There's my Pikachu burger. I've been craving for this. Mmm, delicious. This carrot is so crunchy. Huh? Molly, what are you eating? It's my Pikachu burger. Another junk food? That's enough, young lady. You're eating more veggies from now on. Great, the doctor is here. Come with me. Doc, can you teach my child how to eat healthy? She keeps eating junk food. A Pikachu picture? What is the doctor planning to do? Look at this Pikachu. He's sick. Wanna know why? We'll cut him open to find out. Incision on the stomach. So much toxic liquid is coming out. That's so gross. It's all because of the junk food. Now let's wipe that off before moving on to extraction. Let's see. Pizza. Fries. Burger. And a tall one, too. How did it even fit? I'll replace them with broccoli. Water. And an apple. A plaster to stitch him up. And Pikachu's healthy and strong again. Did you watch all that? Now eat your veggies. That's so scary. Mom, give me that 
carrot! I need to be healthy and strong! Good job, Supergirl! Splinters on a bench? Watch out! Huh? Mommy! Help me! Stop running! Show me what's wrong! Oh my! It's a splinter! Doctor! Doctor! Help us! My daughter is hurt! How can I help? My daughter has a splinter! I hate doctors! Splinter, eh? We might need pliers for that. I'm coming in! Can you show me where the splinter is? No! That's too scary! This is not good. Oh? What about this syringe you got there, Doc? What is mom up to? Turn around. I'll pull the splinter out for you. You won't even feel a thing when this syringe pulls the splinter out. Almost there. It's gone. The big bad splinter won't hurt you anymore. It didn't even hurt. Fine. My job here is done. I got you, sweetie. Strawberries are out! Phew! What a relief! Newspaper tissue? Don't know what to do with that! You're so funny! Do you smell that? What? It's not me! Mom! Over here! Smells like rotten egg! I can't! Oh my! Hey, is that smell coming from you? Let me check! Gross! You didn't clean your butt? Get back in there! Oh dear, you really dropped a bomb in here! I don't know how to clean up! I can't think with this smell! Hold on! The cop is unconscious, and the balloons are over there! Now's my chance! Now's not the time for a party! So what is mom's plan with the balloons? I'm going to teach you how to wash your butt! Let's use Nutella as an example and smear it between the cheeks of the balloons. See that? Now, to clean it up, wipe this smear off with a tissue. Once done, fold it up nicely and throw it away. Now you try. Okay, let me try. Wipe it like this. I did it! Good job! No more smelly accidents, okay? Wow, look at this long line of cherries! They're my favorite! I'm gonna eat them all! Nothing can stop me! Uh-oh! Choking alert! Molly, come here! Oh no! Come on, spit it out! Push! And there goes the cherry pits! Whoa! Is that gunfire? It's raining bullets! Hide! Is it over? Ah! I'm okay! Just take deep breaths. What to do? Look! A Coca-Cola bottle? I'm gonna place a cherry on top of the lid, then shove a straw in to push the cherry pit out. One down, several more to go. Don't you know I'm an expert at this? I can do this even with my eyes closed. could use some lemon sprinkles. I love toilet candy. I can't wait to take a bite. Yum. Ouch! Oh no, Molly's tooth got <gasps> loose. What happened? Your poor tooth. We have to pull it out right away. Oh no, what should I do? Aha, uh -huh. a string. We'll do this the old school way. I'll wrap the string around your tooth and tie the other end on the jail bar. Ready? One, two, three. Policeman, help! Pew, pew, pew! Huh? Sounds like a distress call. When the cop pulls the gate open, Molly's tooth gets pulled too. But pulling her along wasn't part of the plan. My tooth is still here! What an epic fail! A Nerf gun? I know what to do. Please don't shoot me. 
Nerf bullets are much faster, so I'll loop the other end of the string around a bullet instead. You ready? Shoot! It worked! My loose tooth is gone! Can I see? <laughs> Good job! You were so brave, sweetie! Glad that bullet went straight to the wall! Now let's call the Tooth Fairy! Is this fish even cooked? I can't take a bite! Mom! My toe hurts! Why? What's wrong? Let me see… Oh my! Her shoe must have been too tight! Those poor swollen toes! Oh no! I'll blow on it to make it feel better! Huh? Is that a clown? Hi, mister! Can I have those balloons? My poor daughter is sad and I want to make her happy! Well, we can't have her feeling sad! I'll show her a few tricks! A puppy balloon should make her smile! Enough with the tricks! Go to your cell! What is mom planning to do with the balloons? I'm gonna cut off the lip part of the balloon and wrap it all over Molly's toes. Each toe gets a balloon. It works like instant protection. Now put your shoe back on. Comfy, right? It's like I'm walking on clouds! Yay! Well, she's gonna be running around all night! Yay! Let us out! Shut it and stay put! Watch out! Ow! How dare you hurt my daughter! Oh, shoot! This is an emergency! I'm going to call the doctor! There he is! Come in, doc! Looks like someone got in trouble, eh? Don't worry, this x-ray machine will tell us what's wrong with your hand! Uh-oh, your wrist is broken. Broken? Oh, no. My poor daughter. What can we do? I'm afraid we're going to have to put on a cast. A hammer and chisel? Don't let me! This will be quick. See? All done. It's so uncomfortable. Thank you, doctor. She just needs to wear it for a while. Huh? Get this thing off me! No, Molly! You're gonna hurt yourself! How can I play with a cast on? Let me think. Thanos' infinity gauntlet? I know! I'm gonna turn your cast into an infinity gauntlet! Wow! I have the snapping power, too! I want the doctor gone! No! no, 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 no. What did you do? Just making <laughs> scary doctors disappear! <laughs> Wow, Molly made a burger out of Play-Doh! This looks tasty! It's time for a taste test! No! Stop! Hiya! You can't eat Play-Doh! No more burgers! You ruined it! How could you? Now I feel bad. Let me think of something. Ah! Let's make it edible Play-Doh! I'm hungry! Is this a pizza Play-Doh? I can really eat it? Yay! It tastes amazing! Yay! You deserve a bite too, Mom! Thank you, dear! It is yummy! Oops, I'm not finished with my business yet! Incoming! Whoa! What on earth is this? Ew! Hold on! It came from my daughter! Are you sick? How do you feel? Achoo! I know! Okay, cough syrup and a spoon. Let's do this. Making your child drink medicine always feels like a battle. Will mom win this time? I don't want it! Okay, well, how about the airplane? No! I want to drink Coke instead! But it's not healthy! Oh! I have an idea! What if you put the cough syrup inside the Coca-Cola can? Easy peasy! Here's your Coke! Yay! Mm. Shh! Clary doesn't know she's drinking the cough syrup! Clary is at the doctor's clinic for a checkup! First things first, I'm going to listen to your heartbeat, okay? I don't want that! So scary! No, no, no! Come on, I need to check your- Oh, that's it, young lady! I'm sorry about her behavior, doctor! Huh? A balloon? And orbs? 
What is mom up to? I'm gonna need these orbs and the balloon. Let's go! First, pour the orbs inside an empty bottle. Then, hook the lip of the balloon over the top of the bottle. Turn it upside down, then watch the orbs fall like sand into an hourglass. Once the balloon is filled with orbs, suck the air out nice and tight. Ta-da! A fidget toy! All right, let's try this again. Hold up, I've got something for my daughter. Wow, this is the softest toy ever! Woo! Okay, do the checkup on her now while she's busy. Okay then, let's see. It worked! Clary's too distracted to notice the stethoscope. Mom is so smart for this hack. Ah, what a great day to eat an apple. Huh? Clary's been eating far too many chocolates. There's even more in her pockets. All empty. You ate all of these? Hold on. Apple and candies? I've got an idea. First, prepare a container with a grid on top. Pour yogurt until the entire dish is filled up. Cut the apple in half and dip it into the yogurt. Pick up the grill and drain off the rest of the yogurt. Add sprinkles to make them even more fun. Ta-da! Apple lollipops! Wow! Mom, I love it! Good girl! Go on, finish all of it! While I sneak a little chocolate for myself. <laughs> oh no! A needle! Clary is too scared to get the shot! What should we do now? Ta-da! Want a cute rabbit? No! No? Not even a cute rabbit is effective. Hmm, I need another trick. The doctor turned into a clown. Here comes the shot! <laughs> Clary just got even more scared. Huh? A butterfly? What? I know. This outfit was a waste. Huh? A butterfly? With a syringe? I've got it! Ta-da! Clary is not afraid of butterflies! It worked! My brave little girl! Yummy hot dog! Mm. Clary, what are you doing, sweetie? Hi, Mom! That's not food, young lady! Give me that! Hey! It's lipstick! How could she eat this? Oh, I know what to do! Lipstick and chocolate? Let's see what mom is up to. Take a spoonful of chocolate discs and melt them with heat. Then pour the melted chocolate into the empty lipstick tube. An edible lipstick. Yes! Here you go. It's chocolate flavored. Mm. That's one way to have a snack while doing your makeup. <laughs> Whoa! Clary's leaving dirty handprints everywhere. What a mess! What the? Where do these handprints come from? Oops! Sorry! Grr. Here's a soap! Go wash your hands right now! Okay, fine! I'm washing now, see? Yikes! <laughs> what a slippery soap! What to do? Hmm… This is the Lego toy she's looking for! I know! Prepare a bowl and start off with a transparent soap base. Next, add orange food coloring and mix it all together, just like that. Bring out the Lego toy, pour the mixed ingredients inside, and fill it up to the brim. Let it chill, and voila! A Lego toy soap! Soft like gelatin! Clean your hands with your new soap. Best part is, there will be no more slippery soap accidents. Clary seems to be having trouble with her breakfast. It's hard to pick up the egg with chopsticks. Now the egg's rolled away. Come back here. There you are. Help! Oh, my eye! What happened? Oh, dear. There's a bruise. Hold on. An egg? Let me get that. I have an idea. Mom is doing the egg trick to heal the bruise. Just pat the egg around the area while the egg is still warm. And the bruise is gone. Yay! It doesn't hurt anymore! I don't want a hot water bottle! I said no! Ugh! What do I do with you? 
Hey, it's Kissy Missy. Mom has an idea. Prepare an empty bottle and put a cherry on top. Use a straw to extract the pits. Fill Kissy Missy's back with all the cherry pits and close her back up. Now it's time for Kissy Missy to go for a very hot spin. Microwave her for a bit. Time's up. Let's take her out. Now you've got a Kissy Missy heating pad. Clary has no complaints about this one. Wow, so warm. Good night, sweetie. I'm so smart. Clary's distracted. Quick, give her a medicine pill. Ew! Well, that didn't work as expected. She'd rather eat gummy bears. Gummy bears, huh? I have a bright idea. I'm gonna take a gummy bear and slice it open. Just a little bit. So the pill fits inside. Perfect. Will this trip work? Here's a gummy bear. She didn't spit it out. Good job, Mom. Chips again? This is bad. Good thing Mom is here with some healthy fruits and veggies. I hate healthy food. Yeah. What? All you do is eat these chips. You naughty girl. What are you watching? Rainbow friends. This just gave me an idea. Clary, come over here. What is it? <sighs> As a doctor, I should show you what happens to kids who keep eating unhealthy chips. I'm going to cut his stomach open. See that slime? It's from all the bad food he's been eating. He's feeling sick. This is scary. Oopsie, we better wipe that slime off. Pizza, steak, burger. Better replace that with a healthy bottle of water and some broccoli and an apple. Now let's stitch him back up. Your rainbow friend is healthy again. I'm never eating junk food again. I'll eat a carrot instead. Good girl. You sneaky mom. I guess adults can have a few chips every now and then. <gasps> Those Legos look too small. This looks yummy. Mom. Oh no. <laughs> oh my gosh. Cough it out. Come on. Yeah. Phew. What a close call. You're not supposed to eat that, Clary. Wait, Legos, huh? Let's see. Ugh, so much spit. But if she really wants to eat a Lego, I can make that happen. Look at these bottles of colorful chocolate. Pour them all into these Lego-shaped mold trays. Make sure to fill them up to the brim. No chocolate put to waste. Let it chill. And now Clary has Lego candies. I can really eat this? Mmm, so sweet. Thank you, Mommy. Clary is getting bored. <sighs> what are you playing over there? None of your business. Clary, that's rude. But I'm bored. I want to play. Hey, I said don't butt into other people's business. Play with my phone. Yay! But there's only 1% battery left. How can I play games on it? Oh, shoot. I need to find another way. Aha! Uh -huh. I know! Get a plastic bag the size of a phone and pour glitter inside. Add water to make the glitter float. So cool! Put it inside the phone case, cover it up, and put the phone back in the case. What a great way to make your phone case more fun! Check this out! Wow! Glitter! It's all floating around! Look! This is so fun! Yay! Whew, thank goodness it worked! Yay! Looks like a rich family also gets the special vermin porridge! Ew! Butler! Butler! Go get us some tasty food! Let me see that! Honey! Alright, I got you! What is the cop planning to do? It seems like he's making a hole in the wall. A McDonald's logo? It's a drive through Two Happy Meals coming right up. Thanks, officer. Enjoy! <laughs> their very own McDonald's in jail. What more could you ask for? They even have their own cleaner. But a clumsy one. 
what's wrong? The Broke family's meal of the day is porridge with a side of vermin. I'll take the first bite. It's, uh, good. Try it. Ew, I don't eat spiders. I want what the cop is eating. Huh? Sushi? Nice. I guess I can make do with porridge. What is mom trying to do? A porridge bowl. Now I'll roll up a piece of newspaper and turn it into chopsticks. The dirty tap water looks like soy sauce anyway. Eat the ducky moss. Let's see if this porridge sushi will taste good. Mmm. Something about it tastes amazing. Must be the rust from the tap water. Barbie's hair is too long anyway. I'm bored. I'll find something else to shave. How about Butler's hair? Target locked. Hair is that my hair? What was that sound? My hair also got cut off. No, give me that. You don't play with a razor. Butler, go get her a new toy. Hmm. I'll see what I can find. Voila! This guy needs a new haircut. It's a Play-Doh hair. Just don't mistake it for spaghetti. There's no limit to this snipping game. I want to open my own salon! Charlotte's feeling rather stylish today. But she'd rather cut someone else's hair. Uh-oh! Target spotted! She's not holding back with those thick strands. Huh? Something's poking me. Scissors? Hair? What have you done to my hair? Ah! Yarn? Looks like mom has an idea. Cut a piece of cardboard into a head shape, then add a face to make a doll head. Mom is using a sewing needle to poke some holes into the doll's scalp. Then she's sewing the yarn into the holes by tying it into a knot. Just like that. Looking good. This doll needs a new hairstyle. Why don't you give her a new one, sweetie? I love it! I'll give her a new hairdo. As for mom's bangs, maybe she'll grow to like it. It's time for lunch! <laughs> 10, 20. Ouch! That hurt! My daughter is hurt! Oh, shoot! Her knuckles are swollen! My poor girl! Fix this! I know! I got a safety gadget! It will prevent the gate from closing all the way, and the fingers are safe! Yikes! That was quite a good aim! Let me wipe all that snot off your face. Ew! My gosh, you're burning up! You need to take a throat spray medicine. Open up! Let's see. Aha! A candy spray! Mmm! Uh, it's empty already! Meh! Finders keepers, candy spray, and medicine spray. I know what to do. I have candy spray for you. Close your eyes first. Now I'll replace it with the medicine spray. Candy spray is yummy, right? Oh dear, Ellie has so many pimples. Gross. I think we need to pop it. Here goes nothing. Ow! Oh gosh, what do we do now? Right, I need to make a call. Who is mom calling? That was fast. I have come with a pumping gadget. This will pump out all of your pimple pus. Oh dear, this is not for the faint of heart. So much pimple pus is coming out. And that's how you know it worked. Yay, my face is so smooth. Thank goodness. Gotta go. Buckle up, doc. Charlotte just can't help popping her pimples! Mom's porridge got some extra flavor now! Disgusting! 
Stop popping your pimples! What will mom do now? Bubble wrap and porridge. I know. Inject the porridge inside the bubbles and give it a paint job to make it look like a pimple. Ta-da! DIY pimple popper! It's definitely way better than popping your own pimples. That is one satisfying pop. She can't help but do more. You can probably just lick it off your finger later. Ew! Oh, that was a lot. Eating chocolate is all fun and games. Until you get a nasty tooth stain. Look at your dirty teeth! Go brush your teeth, dear. No, I don't want to! No, more toothpaste! Uh-oh. Looks like we need another way to convince Ellie. Butler? Yes, ma'am. Money! Huh? There's a coin slot over here. That gave me an idea. Is that Shrek's butt? We can use Shrek as a toothpaste cap. Shrek's got the case of minty diarrhea. Whoa! Oh, that's so cool! That's one way to make brushing your teeth fun. I need to pee. Hold up. Don't sit on the toilet. It could be dirty. Let's check for germs using the magnifying glass. See that? Ugh! Butler? Need to clean the toilet. I got you. Are you sure you can do it? Gonna start off by wiping the seat with disinfectant spray. Perfect! Now I'm gonna add a bath bomb for some foamy fun. And flush! Then I'll add a few flower gels to make the toilet smell better. It could also be a nice decoration. Ta-da! While it is nice, Ellie's getting impatient. I'm almost done, I swear. Just need to add a toilet seat warmer. Perfect. The toilet is ready. Go ahead, sweetie. No! Give me privacy, please. I need to poop. Oh, dear. This toilet must be so old. And cold! Ellie froze like ice! Help! Me! What happened? The toilet seat feels like ice! What can we do? Huh? My favorite lunch! I need that pizza box! I don't need this empty box! Score! Watch as I turn this pizza box into a toilet seat! Perfect! Now you try sitting again. I don't want to sit on that oily thing. Well, I gotta think of something warm and clean. What about socks? I have an idea. Good thing my socks are stretchable enough to fit on the toilet seat. How about now? Ellie doesn't want any of the snacks. And Butler is clumsy as usual. I don't want it! This is bad! Butler, you gotta think of something special! Something special? Looks like Ellie has a special request. Is that so? Okay, then. Is that a builder? What is he up to? Just gonna do a little renovation on the jail bars. Done! Ta-da! It's a jail bar made of marshmallows! Wow! My dream has come true! Yay! Nom! There's more! A Skittle Bar! Easy, Tiger! You've got enough candies to last a lifetime! Is that a giant lollipop? No wonder Charlotte wants it! That looks yummy! Mom, I want a giant lollipop! Lollipop? Let's see… I ate all the candies I have… What are they gonna do now? Wait, look at that mouse! Where are you going, little guy? Going somewhere interesting? Is that… Those are sugar cubes! 
Wow! May I have one? Shh, I need the cop's matchbox too. He looks pretty busy anyway. Let's see what mom is planning to do. I'm going to add green food coloring on the sugar cube. And then heat it up with the match. It's melting. I'll just shove a popsicle stick on it. And voila! It's a lollipop! I got a surprise for you! Lollipop! What a creative trick! The family is going on a vacation! Wait! Where's our daughter? Melanie! Let's go! We're leaving! Are you here, Melanie? I'm not sure she'll fit under the carpet either. Maybe she's in her room. I'll go check. There you are! Silly girl. Melanie, we have to go. Huh? Why can't she hear me? Melanie! We have to go! What's going on up there? Why can't Melanie hear anything? Let me check her ears. It's full of wax! How will she be able to hear us now? Oh, I have an ear cleaner! Let's get to work! It might tickle a little. Ew, Melanie basically made her own ear muffs! This gadget will get rid of all that nasty ear wax! Good thing this ear cleaner comes with a light show! Yay! She can hear us now! Yay! She can hear us now! Hold on! Dad's ears are full of wax, too! Really? How was Dad able to hear through all that slime? Beep beep! You'll get a speeding ticket at this point! Huh? Wow! And those poor toys! What a tragic accident! Oh no! The clothes! Bicycles are made to be used outside the house, after all! My poor toy! The poor toy got hit by a bicycle! Help him! Look at his broken arm! This is an easy job! Dr. Mommy is in the house! She's all suited up! Let's start the operation! Can we save him in time? First things first, check for the pulse! We have to cut his arm off! To put it back properly, we have to remove it first! Tweezers, please! This is practically his shoulder bone! We need to attach his arm! Then we can stitch it back up with a thread and needle! Mom is a professional at this! Look how awesome her stitching skills are! Surgery is done! I recommend bed rest for a few days so the stitch will heal! Wow! His arm is okay! My job here is done! What about Barbie? Well, being a mom and a surgeon is a full-time job! <laughs> you can only pack so much for a trip! But it seems Dad wants to bring the whole toy box! What is it? What's happening? I'm sick! Is that a cough I hear? I have a solution for that! Just dip the lollipop into the cough syrup! Stop that! She can eat it! Okay… What is mom looking for? Aha! Uh -huh, I found the mold! I'm going to make a homemade lollipop! Place a toothpick in each mold, then pour in cough syrup! Let it freeze, and voila! A medicine lollipop! Here you go! Wow! This is yummy! Lollipop? Can I have some? I want a lollipop too! Well, I guess dad can enjoy it too, even if he's not sick! Lollipops are for everyone! It's a relaxing day for camping! Never mind! Dad seems to be looking for something! I have three splinters in my hand! Three? Oh dear, this is bad! Aha! I found the tongs! Are you crazy? You can't use those! Just stay back and let me do the job! We have a first aid kit for this! I present to you the pump gadget! This will suck out that nasty splinter fast! One down, two to go! It's gone! It doesn't even hurt! No need for tongs then, I see! Mom always knows best! The family is sleeping in a tent! Huh? What's that noise? What was that? I think there's a real monster out there! What's wrong, sweetie? There's something outside! Ah! They're gonna eat us! 
Bunny, wake up! What is it? What's happening? There's a monster outside! Oh, silly. Those are just leaves. It's gone when you point a flashlight at it. It's so bright! Our eyes! This doesn't seem to work. Ah! You're right. It's like staring straight into the sun. Oh, I know. Mom is making a lamp out of a heart-shaped balloon. Cover it up with a tissue and start painting. Add a cute bear and glitter. Cover that up again with a tissue and paint some more. Then add stars this time. Repeat the same step, tissue and paint. Now that you've molded the shape of the balloon, we can pop it and get rid of it. I'm sure you can already tell who this lamp is gonna be. Huggy Wuggy! A Huggy Wuggy lamp? That's so cool! Now they can finally sleep in peace. Score! Yeah, that was a good shot! Another point for me! My turn! Yes! They're supposed to be packing their bags for the trip. But I guess a DIY basketball game won't hurt. Uh-oh, it's mom! What are you guys doing? This is not how you pack your clothes! Hold on… This box is giving me an idea! Let's see what mom is up to! She's cutting out the cardboard into pieces. Now she'll bring it all together with tape. Make sure to secure every corner. This way the cardboard can be foldable. It's done! You can fold your clothes with this? Let's give it a try! Put the shirt over the cardboard and fold it up on the sides. Wow. Then at the bottom. Wow! I did it! Maybe they should turn this into a game and score a point for every folded shirt. Huh? And look! They fit well in the suitcase. It's dad's turn to fold his clothes. Like this? Oh, I got it! This is too easy! Looks like Melanie and mom are going somewhere. Ready to go? Yep, all done! My shoes! I think I put them on the wrong foot. How can you even get that wrong? You know what? We'll solve this. It seems Melanie can't tell which one is left and right. Mom's gonna put a sticker to mark which is which. This side goes on the right. And the other half goes on the left. Huh? This image doesn't seem right. Aha! This way! It's just like a puzzle. I'm ready to go. Hey, ladies! You guys ready? Dad, look! Dad put on his shoes incorrectly, too! Good thing I have extra stickers for you! This sand is so fun! I'm gonna fill it up with water! Just a little bit more… It looks like a volcano! But I'm gonna mold it into a ball! Something's inside! Let's soak it under the water to see what's hidden! Well, hello there, Huggy Wuggy! Where is the rest of his body? Wow! Oh no! The lollipop! This is a cute monster! Mom! Dad! Look what I found! That looks fun, sweetie! Oh, where's my lollipop? It's covered in sand now! Is she gonna eat it? No! Stop! You are not eating a sand-flavored lollipop! I wanted to eat that! Use this instead! What is that? Wow! He's eating my lollipop! He's just holding it for you! And he's protecting it, too! You can place it on the sand anytime you want now! Cool! My lollipop is safe! I love this gadget! The family is about to board their flight! This is so funny! Hmm… It seems Melanie didn't get enough sleep last night! She's lost in dreamland! Her snoring is so noisy! I'll just put tape over her mouth. Well, that's one way to solve the problem. Perfect. <laughs> I'm kind of getting sleepy, too. Huh? What's that noise? Dad is snoring, too. It's so noisy. I know. A sleep strip will cover up his snores. That seems to work really well. It looks like Dad has a cute pacifier. Uh-oh! Mom's asleep, too! Who's gonna cover up Mom's snoring now? What a cute picture! Honey, pack your things! I've got your backpack! It's so ugly, Mom! I don't like it! Why? I think it looks cute! Oh well! 
Look at this cute bag! Now this is the kind of bag I want! Maybe there's something pink around here. Aha! Uh -huh, the trash bag! Melanie's got a unique taste for a bag. Oh my, the trash! Why are you putting your stuff inside the trash bag? I'm ready to go! I packed my stuff. Check out my cool new backpack. It's like I'm wearing a cape. That's not an appropriate bag, sweetie. What should I do? Oh, a puppet! Looks like mom got an idea! Wow, a puppet bag! It has so many colors! And I can play with it, too! Okay, I'll definitely wear this! Thanks, mom! It's perfect! Yay! Melanie is really addicted to video games! Don't slouch like that! Fix your posture! Whatever! Oop, she's doing it again! Unbelievable! Sit straight, okay? Hmm, my daughter can't have bad posture. Look, she's like an old woman with a hunchback. That can't be! No! We can't have you slouching like that. We need to solve this right now. How is a belt going to help? Are you gonna hurt me? Please don't! I promise I'll fix my posture! Sit properly! Is he making a seat belt? Oh, I see. He's tying Melanie to the chair. Let's see if you'll still slouch after that. What a smart hack, Dad. We'll fix your posture in no time. Cereal is my favorite meal of the day. Legos on the floor are never a good idea. The cereal spilled all over Melanie. Ouch, my foot. You ruined my hair. Guys, what is going on here? Oh my gosh, so many Legos. I was just playing. Don't you feel bad for me? Yikes, it's so sore. Wait, I have an idea on how to clean this up. Mom covered the vacuum tube with socks to gather the Lego pieces. They won't get sucked in all the way. And it's easier to bring them back to the toy box. Mommy is like a special agent with her cool hacks. What a mess! Floors are covered in Lego blocks. Be careful, Dad! Ouch! Ah! 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 What chaos! Huh? Oh no! Mom is going to be home soon! Ah! Quick! I need to clean everything up! Little Lucas doesn't even care! Huh? Dad is on the vacuum! No, Dad! Stop! You're going to ruin all my Lego! Oh, shoot! Think, Dad! I'm sure you can solve this problem easily! What's that? A sock? That doesn't belong here! Hold on a second… I think I have a pretty smart idea! I still don't understand what Dad is up to! He's putting the sock on the vacuum? Great! Now I can clean everything up easily before Mom comes home! Well, apparently the sock hack really helped Dad a lot! And after the sock is full, you can easily pull it off and empty it! All the Lego pieces belong in this box! Amazing! The living room looks like new again! Here comes Mom! Hey, my loves! Wow, I am impressed, honey. Since when did you take care of the cleaning? Cleaning? Oh, yes, yes, I did a great job. Of course, Dad. <laughs> Looks like everyone is getting ready to go to sleep. Lucas still has some energy to draw. Can you watch him while I take a shower? Yeah, I'll watch him. I think Lucas just ran out of paper. Hmm, where should I draw next, then? Oh, I know. I'll keep drawing somewhere else. Well, at least Lucas can free his imagination on the walls. <laughs> Shoot! Dad isn't reacting at all. Dad had better do something. Shoot! My goodness! What now? I was supposed to be watching you. Lucas, stop it! Ah! We already talked about this. You can't draw on the walls or furniture. How am I going to clean this before Riley gets out of the shower? Maybe I can try this? Ah! The sponge! Maybe this will work. Aw, nothing is working! I am so in trouble right now. What am I gonna do now? Riley would be so mad at me. Wait, was that? Let me check. There is no way that sunscreen will wipe the drawings off the wall. I don't believe that. Okay, I'll give it a try. Let's see if sunscreen can do some magic. Holy moly! It works! Unbelievable! Now Dad and Lucas can get out of this pinch easily. 
Yay! That's right. Who has the best hacks in mind? Dad does. What's up, guys? Ah! I swear I was watching him. What? Don't mind me. Our son drew this today. Lucas is really good at drawing. I know that, sweetie. Dad is not as good at lying as wiping off the walls with sunscreen. <laughs> Sweet dreams. Oh, no. Mom! Dad! Wake up! I need your help! I need to do my creative project! What's that? Well, it doesn't look like a creative project at all. I can't do it on my own! Kid, it's the middle of the night! I know! But I forgot that I have to present my farm project! When? Can't we do that tomorrow? Oh, no! The deadline is tomorrow! Oh, my God! Why didn't you tell me this earlier? We better hurry! I don't understand what's happening. Okay, I'm sure we can still make it right on time. I just need some things for your farm project. Where are they? Shoot, there's nothing useful in this kitchen for Charlotte's farm project. <laughs> you look so silly right now. Hey, it's not nice to laugh at us like that. Stop it, Lucas. Hold on a second. Are those corn puffs? I think I know how to use them. Hey, I was drinking that. I know. The Midnight Art Club has just opened. Grab some corn puffs and some water. Now grab a single corn puff and dip it into the glass of water. Now try to stick them together, just like that. The water glues them together. Now you can repeat the same again and again. Just give me a moment and you'll see the best farm ever. Voila! The little house is super cute. Whoa, mom did a really great job. That looks really tasty. And also really creative. Happy birthday, Lucas! Happy birthday, son! You are getting so big! That's my boy! What an amazing celebration! Now comes everyone's favorite part of the birthday! Cake! Oh no! Someone get the knife out of Lucas's hands! He's going to hurt himself! Oh god! Lucas! What are you doing? No! The fingers! Watch out! One more moment and Lucas could have cut his fingers off! Hey! I want to cut the cake! What should I do? I can't let him use the real knife. Hold on. I know. I'm pretty sure I can make a fake knife out of this box. Let's see what mom is using for this hack. First of all, grab a pencil and make an outline of the real knife. Don't hurry. Take your time. Then make sure you cut it nicely out of the box. See? Now we have some thick material for support. The last step, let's cut the knife shape out of this green paper. Grab some pencil glue and apply it nicely to both sides of the knife. Now stick both green shapes on our first knife. And that's it! Now everyone can use this knife without getting hurt for sure! Sweetie, I have a special knife for you! Now you can be the one who cuts the birthday cake! Wow! That's amazing, Mom! Nice hack! You did a great job! Why is she taking so long? It's been hours! Oh my! Just look at this little gentleman's clothes! He is all covered in ice cream! Whoa! What happened here, buddy? You're all dirty! Shoot! Riley will be peeved! I have to take care of it! Give me that! Ew! It's all sticky! This goes straight into the trash! No! I want my ice cream! But it's drippy and sticky! Unless… That's right! I think I have a plan! Let's see what dad has there! Hmm, is that a cupcake holder? I'm not sure if this is going to work. Okay, almost there. I just need to put it on just like that. Take it. Wow, it actually works. What a cool, simple hack for messy kiddos, right? Oh no, I think mom is coming. Hold this, son, quick. What is going on? Oh, Lucas is just helping me out with the shopping bags. Look what I got. Beautiful, isn't it? For you. Fortunately, mom didn't notice anything suspicious. Poor Charlotte. She caught a cold a few days ago and she's still feeling sick. How is my little angel doing? I brought you some hot tea. You're going to be fine. I am going to take care of you. I have some really good medicine here. What I see from Charlotte's face is that she doesn't seem really into the meds. Open your mouth. Here comes the train. Ew! I am not going to drink this! Yikes! Gross! Well, it's not going to be easy. What is happening over here, guys? What's the problem? Lollipop! I want it! Dad, give me it! Huh? You want some sweets? Sure, Angel. There you go. Yay! Huh? Hey! That was mine! No. 
No candy, little lady. You are sick. What's your problem, Jack? I don't get it. Wait, look at Mom. I think she just came up with a good idea. Let's see what it is. I know a trick to get Charlotte to take the meds. Let's put some cough syrup in the spoon. And now let's dip the lollipop into it. Just like that. Here, honey, you can have this lollipop. Yay! Mmm, it's so delicious! What? When I was giving her the candy, you said it was bad. One lollipop won't hurt anyone, right? <laughs> Lunch time! There you go, sweetie. Yikes, Mom! I don't want to eat vegetables! Come on, don't be a rude girl. You must eat good in order to feel good, yeah? Look, Charlotte is hiding something in the drawer. French fries? She is sneaking the food without blinking. Oh, my baby is such a great kid. It's delicious, Mom. Hold on. Why does it look like the food on the plate wasn't even touched? Huh? Uh-oh, someone is in trouble. Oh, I knew it. But I don't want to eat your stupid vegetables. Hmm, boring, you say? Let me think. I think I know how to make eating more fun and interesting. Sweetie, come here. The food is ready. Wow, what is all that? So many different options to eat. Let's play an eating game. Try it. Of course, Mom came up with a nice way to trick kids into eating veggies and still having fun. It's like a game where whatever color you roll is the plate you have to eat from. This is such a smart move. I am impressed. And it seems that Charlotte is really having a great time now. Thanks to mom, who always has cool ideas like this one. Yay! That's my girl! And mom is getting everything ready for the birthday party. Oh, I have to hurry up before the guests show up. Mom! Mom! Let's play! I'm bored. Oh, sweetie, I can't. Now I have so many things to do. Here, take a lollipop. Great trick when you don't have time to play with kids. Oh, oh! No, I dropped it. Shoot! Well, it still looks delicious. Who cares? Someone, please, stop him from licking that dirty thing! Oh, God! Lucas, can't you see it's all dusty and dirty? You can't eat this. I'm going to give you another one. Just be more careful this time. Okay, back to business here. Mm. Oh, shoot! Not again! Mom! I dropped it again! Oh, this is going to be harder than I thought. What if I just… Look, mom ties Lucas's hand to the lollipop. Maybe this way he won't drop the lollipop for sure? That doesn't look like a good idea. Give me that! Mom! Oh, sorry, dear. Yeah, just a moment. Where did that candy go? Huh? That was the last one, I guess. What do I do now? I think I know what to do. This hack is going to be really nice. Look, mom is tying the balloons to the lollipop. I still don't have any clue why. Voila! Oh my, that's right! The balloons hold up the lollipop in the air. Oh no! Not again! No! Phew! I almost forgot. Chill out, Mom! You know it's not going to fall anymore. Isn't that amazing? It really is. There once was an old castle that was built deep in the woods. Fairy tale time before sleep. Although it seems that dad is hurrying somewhere. That girl's name was Sophia. She was a princess of mystery land. Of course. How can dad be interested in reading fairy tales when the football match is on? Hey, where are you going? Sure thing, darling. I'm not going anywhere, I promise you. Okay, let's continue. Sophia used to spend her days in woods, talking with trees and playing with wolves. She was a special girl, but one day she decided to- Oh, poor dad. I have a feeling he's missing out on all the fun with his friends. It's a really intense football match, and he doesn't even know who's winning. Get yourself over here, Jack. You're missing all the action here. Where are you going again, dad? Can't you stay with me? Being a parent is not easy. Right, Jack? Okay, okay. I'm not going anywhere. I will stay here with you, my little angel. Whoa! Okay, let's continue reading, shall we? Where did we stop? Hmm, but Sophia was so curious about the- Great, Charlotte is sleeping. Now dad can leave. Yay, my hand is free. Now I just need to leave the room. Shoot! Dad, get back here and read me my favorite fairy tale. Poor guy just wants to watch the football match in peace. Huh. 
You are not leaving. Got it? <laughs> of course, sweetie. So, Sophia decided to go visit the village by herself. And... Oh, Charlotte fell asleep again. You can't leave her until she falls into a deep sleep. Oh, look, maybe Dad can watch the football game here. Shoot, the stream is lagging. Ugh, this is really ticking me. Dad, can you read me more? Of course, honey. Huh? What is this look on Dad's face? Fairy tale and phone? I know. Sophia traveled for three days and three nights, but because she Wow, that is brilliant. Dad is recording himself reading a fairy tale. Got it. Now let's play. There once was an old castle that was built deep in the woods. The Watch out for the toy, Dad. You don't want to wake up Charlotte one more time, do you? Yes, finally I made it. Now I can go watch football with my boys. <laughs> oh no, Charlotte's favorite Barbie doll is in danger. Hey, stop it. You're hurting my doll. No, I took her first. Whoa, the leg. The leg is off. Oopsie. Look what you've done, you monster. Now my Barbie doll is missing her leg. Dad! What happened, sweetie? Are you okay? Who hurt you? Lucas broke my Barbie's leg. Hold on, sweetie. I'm sure we can do surgery on your little doll, okay? She will be fine, I swear. Okay, it should hold. Oh, shoot. What are we going to do? I can't hear. Poor Barbie! Is that a 3D pen? I know! Let me handle the situation right! Now I definitely know what to do! Let's see how Dad will become the hero of the day! Grab your doll and decorate it! Free your imagination! If Barbie doesn't have legs, maybe she can be a mermaid? Well, that looks interesting! Almost there! Wow! Just look at the final result! It's magnificent! There you go, sweetie! She's a mermaid! Wow, Dad! I am so happy! I am so sorry for hurting your Barbie! Oh, that is so cute! Nice job, Dad! After a long day, Charlotte is peacefully sleeping! Oh no! What is that? Ah! What was that? Oh no! Someone is hiding in the closet as well! What happened, sweetie? Are you all right? He's in the closet! Huggy Wuggy is trying to attack me! Okay, see? There are no monsters here. Maybe it was just a bad dream. And another monster is under my bed! She just had a bad dream and now she thinks monsters are hiding in her room. Oh, what do I do? Maybe I can think of something for this. Hmm, I think I have an idea. Let's see what mom is up to. Grab a sprayer and some colorful stickers. Now prepare your hot glue gun and write down the name on the sprayer that will scare the monsters away. Now this sprayer will have superpowers to protect every single corner of the room from boogeymen and monsters. Now grab the little stickers and put them on top of the sprayer. Be creative and put as many stickers as you want. Voila! One, two, three, no! Go away, you disgusting monsters! Woohoo! No monsters! Yay! That's my brave girl! Now you can go back to sleep. Your room is safe and so are you. Wow, mom did an amazing trick here. Wait, look, what is dad doing here? Hmm, look, Riley, not that I am afraid, but maybe we could use it in our bedroom as well. Ha, dad is afraid as well. <laughs> Good night, my little angel. Have sweet dreams. <laughs>